guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from the Pucks Come Crew. How's it going? So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be selling my cards. So I'm going to be doing it privately. Um, and the way that I'm going to do it is actually the most expensive way to do it, which is to go through Staples. Um, so a guy named Cody is going to be printing these up for me, cutting them individually and packaging them for me. So um, just keep in mind, like I said, it's going to be the most expensive way to do it. So I think last year I paid $28 to have a deck printed. So that doesn't include the box, the instructions, and shipping and handling as well. So yeah, I'm not going to be making that much money on it, unfortunately. So, uh, But there seems to be a lot of towers happening right now. And so I'm kind of desperate at this point. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to Kim for purchasing the deck, my original deck. Um, I have. Um, an example of the deck that I'm going to be selling except for it'll have the card description or the card names on the top and the numbers and stuff like that. Um, this deck doesn't have it so uh, and also paintings are still here so if anybody's interested that's Kurt Cobain, Chris Cornell and Scott Whelan there. Um, so you don't have to buy them all together. I, I'm happy to sell them individually so if you're interested let me know. Uh, my email is below. Uh, so for the the cards, um, there were quite a few people that were bidding on the original deck, so I'm so sorry you guys didn't get the deck, and I'm so like, oh my god, my heart is just full of love and appreciation and gratitude for, for you guys bidding on the cards in the first place, that just, uh, it gave me so much confidence, and um, yeah, thank you guys. So you guys will have the, f the first um, decks. Um, and anybody who contacted me through email as well, I'm happy to give you guys first choice as well. So I'm thinking of selling the decks for about $100. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be making much on it for, you know, once everything's all said and done. So yeah, let me know. Email should be below. And I love you guys and enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. Okay, cheers. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Sherry here. How's it going? Okay, so um, this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for January the 9th, oh sorry, <laughs> January the 30th until uh, February the 9th. So I'm just giving my deck here a shuffle. I've pulled out my hand-painted deck that I made because um, I, I sold the deck that I normally use for the reading to Kim, like I mentioned earlier. So I'll just give these guys a quick little shuffle. Um, and thanks to you guys who ordered a reading. I appreciate it so much and love you guys. All right, so let's see here. Um, so I got Call It Baron Read Enchanted Lab. I kind of almost want to just pull all the enchanted map for the masculine and then I'll use, actually we'll do row by row, I'll uh, switch between um, the enchanted map and uh, wisdom of the oracle I think. Oop. Okay, so this will be the overall energy card since it flew out, um, so it says protecting your treasures. Um, so this card is all about you know, being worried about whether or not things are being taken care of. You're worried about maybe finances or um, something in the material world and the 3D reality is um, gnawing at you. So I'll, maybe I'll read a little bit from the book. Let's finish pulling the cards first though. Okay, so that's the overall energy and I think I'll do a, a divine partnership. Okay, so let's do the first row. All the way across. So those are the masculine's cards. All right, and then call it Baron Reed Wisdom of the Oracle.
Okay, and let's see, just call it Baron Reed, um, the good tarot. <clears throat> Sorry, the good tarot. Okay. I'll make sure these are all camera. All right, let's begin here. So, for this card up here, 39. So it reduces back down to a three, which is all about, um, like um, dualities coming together to create a third energy. I'm just gonna adjust this light down here so I can see a bit better. Okay, so it says, um, you are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuation in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is, impor is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. Um, this is a good time to strengthen bonds and friendships and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under the angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. Oh my God, I almost started crying there. I need, actually really needed that message. That's beautiful. So no need to worry. Um, you know, your spirit guides and um, you know, the collective are there with you and you're not alone and things are going to be fine so good okay so moving on the masculine how does he feel about the feminine sad embrace okay so just like the card shows there's a person who's sitting there all hunched over because they've experienced a great deal of pain or loss sadness um, let me just have a quick look at it. So that's a nine. Nine is all about the soul. And, you know, nearing the completion as well. So it says, love, fear, or sorry, I can't read today. Uh, love is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal. So, you know, what I'm feeling is the masculine Perhaps if you guys are in separation, the, you know, the separation is causing the masculine to feel sad because the energy is directed towards the feminine in this card here. So let me just pull one clarifier to see. Okay, so the lover's card. Um, so this is, you know, usually a twin flame card. It's all about passion ignited. It's that strong magnetic attraction that you feel for your twin flame. So there's a lot of passion and, and longing and desire there. It could also uh, represent a decision that needs to be made, but I'm not really feeling that. What I'm seeing here is sadness because of um, the disconnect or the separation or the distance, perhaps. Okay, so for the feminine, how does she feel about the masculine? Strength. So she feels strong. Uh, the bond is strong. The connection is strong. Um, you know, she's balancing the world, you know, on one leg. That's pretty crazy. So 44, that's a double number. So four is all about stability. Um groundedness, a foundation. So it says, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from sincere faith in the higher power. Good. So what I'm feeling with this is the feminine feels confident about the connection in that 
you know, there's growth there. There's a lot of green in that, you know, she has, she's pointing with her foot and her finger there um, towards the masculine, almost like she's kind of showing off a little bit. Look at me. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I can balance the world on my shoulders and take all this responsibility and still have fun doing it. So it, it looks like there's a direction she's heading, right, towards the masculine. So the two cards together, um, they're facing each other. The masculine's, you know, sad, but the feminine is strong, feeling strong. So I'm just going to pull a clarifier just to see what's happening here. Nice, the King of Cups, Kurt Cobain. So the King of Cups is somebody who loves very deeply and um, they love so much it hurts them right so this is also an emotional balance so the feminine is feeling very balanced emotionally she's she has a, a lot of love that she feels for the masculine um you know and there's this desire to connect you know and, and communicate um have deep conversations that kind of thing so yeah the feminine definitely feels that you know and if it is about the masculine that's what this position is about how she feels about the masculine but it, it you know this feels like an internal strength um not as a result of the masculine but she feels strong within and that makes her feel confident about the connection if that makes any sense to you Okay, so for some reason I want to pop to the external environment. So sometimes this position is related to um, the opposite sex, right? So this is on the yang side, so this would be the yin energy. So the ten of air, interesting. Um, so there, this could also mean, you know, for some people out there that um, maybe the feminine has cut off connection with the masculine um, or just cut off, you know, negative thoughts about it. But, you know, it's in his external environment, so it doesn't necessarily have to be connected to the feminine. It's just the energy that's surrounding him. Okay, so the Ten of Air... So it so says, uh, graceful endings and hopeful beginnings, um, a point of epiphany and end to old ways of thinking. So it's all up from here. As I bless the endings, grateful for the lessons I have learned, that I can free me from patterns that no longer serve me. Okay, so what I'm, I'm sensing is... A feeling of loss um, and mourning on the masculine side. Uh, you know, maybe there's just a lot of tragedy that's surrounding him, and that's kind of making him miss the feminine more, perhaps. Let me just pull a card. So the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored. So this is all about relationships, your connections with other people. And so when there's a blockage there, it means you need to look at your relationships and see where there's weaknesses. Um, are you having trouble communicating your emotions? Um, are you keeping things in? Are you withdrawing from people? So the Ten of Swords is an ending to, you know, um, feeling stabbed in the back, the dark night of the soul. Um, and it's creating a lot of emotional turmoil, what I feel for the masculine, but um, just remember that that period of time is over and the skies are, you know, turning blue again. Okay, so what is actually in the feminine's external environment? The Five of Pentacles. So this is a card normally about feeling a lo lost and uh, alone. Uh, it usually has to do with financial hardship, um, you know, just feeling challenged, I guess. So, challenged financially and in 5D. Okay, so it says alternative forms of abundance 
the illusion of lack overlooked treasure. So the overall uh, message, remember, is, you know, there's this person who's sitting, laying on this treasure chest and she's hunched over and she's protecting it, right? Um, so there's definitely uh, synchronicity there. So this is, it says, all is not as it seems. So this is a time of to look again. A change in perception can bring into focus the results I sought just in a different form than expected. I am called to move away from poverty, consciousness, and open my eyes to the treasure before me um, that are suddenly illuminated. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I resonate with that, right? It's like, you know, I'm focusing on what I don't have and all the towers that are coming down. So the message, again, double whammy, is to, you know, feel whole and full and abundant within. You don't need material things in order to make yourself feel important, right? So um, definitely the, the advice would be to have a more positive outlook and, and be thankful for what you do have. Okay, so the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is somebody who's a social butterfly who just, you know, there's no stability. He's in, he's out like the wind. Um, he comes in, um, you know, and just shakes things around, right? Um, this could also be somebody who says things very abruptly. Uh, they don't realize what they say. It might hurt somebody. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm feeling is like this chaos is also po uh, possibly um, surrounding the feminine and a lot of you know, material um, changes taking place and it's making her feel, you know, like she doesn't have a direction, perhaps. Okay, so what is in the past for the feminine? All that glitz is glitter. Wow, okay, so again, this is, you know, things aren't as they seem. Um, you know, and this is kind of take the mask off. Um, maybe somebody's hiding their true nature from you. Um, so it says, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, um, being mercurial I don't know what that word is um, yeah so in the past maybe something was revealed about the feminine um, or the masculine you know I, I feel that the the roles perhaps that she was playing or the people that are surrounding her something was revealed um, and her authenticity um, came out because I'm really focusing, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, a person's face there, right? And it's like they took the mask off and they're seeing reality for what it truly is. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles, interesting. This is um, financial freedom, independence, feeling stable and grounded. So what I feel here is that there was an illusion um, maybe the feminine made a financial, I don't know, a bad choice or something didn't work out the way that she had hoped it would. Um, yeah, or it could be that something was revealed and she, she um, got her independence and her freedom as a result. This could be her going on a trip as well, vacation. So... You know, there is this financial um, weight that seems to be in the reading. All three of these cards have to do with um, the 3D reality. Um, and same with this card as well, except for in terms of the relationship, she feels secure and grounded and balanced. But in terms of the 3D reality, there seems to be a lot of things happening that's... Um, 
kind of opening her eyes, I guess. Okay, so a building block. This is a very similar card to the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it talks about having a stable foundation, um, a future. Um, you know, you feel successful. Oh, and I opened it right to the page. So, strong foundation, a beautiful work in progress. So it says you have everything you need to cultivate and extra, uh, sorry, to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when you focus, um, your, your focus needs to be on the foundation you build. Okay, so the, the masculine was busy working away on creating this stability in his life, and it looks like the feminine was doing the same thing. But there's all this glitz, this glitter attached to it. So I'm just going to pull another card. So the throat chakra, I knew this was going to show up because my voice has been cracking. Um, so he spoke up. He, um, for some people, he may have contacted the feminine. So I just noted that this is the second chakra that has showed up for the masculine. Um, so whatever he did, whatever decisions he made, um, it came from this outward expression of his desires with the throat chakra. Um, you know, I, I see it as a powerful card. The universe is sound. Everything is frequency. So when you see the throat chakra, it's like, you know, you're creating those um, magnetic waves, those standing waves. You're changing the universe also with a thought, also with, you know, other ways as well, with the brain. But he said something, and it made her feel stable as well. They both kind of are standing on the strong foundation, except for she's questioning whether or not it's true. <clears throat> okay. So what is she resisting? Rock bottom. So this is another ending card it's you know you can't go any further you've hit rock bottom um and the only way is up right so so surrender and, and acceptance are the key to freedom as difficult as it might be to accept it seems you've reached the point where you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things perhaps you've hit the proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. So the old way of doing things needs to be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and new strategy is called for. So it's in the, the feminine's resisting position. So she is resisting ending something or, or starting again. She's kind of holding on um, to what she has. Okay, and it's making her question whether or not, you know, that Ten of Pentacles is a r real thing. Now, there, there's two tens in the reading, um, very similar energies, um, but I think this is a motivational card, you know, to start thinking in positive terms, right? Okay, so, nice. Star card is, I think, uh, Spirit's way of saying, you know, don't worry, everything is being taken care of. Heal yourself. This the star is, you know, comes after the tower and so it offers peace, serenity, and hope for the future. So again, like a same kind of theme here to start looking in a more positive uh, way to let go of things and to start healing. Okay, so what is the masculine resisting sacred pool? So the sacred pool, I believe, is all about self-reflection, um, finding peace and solitude, and um, looking for answers, but doing it within, you know, this self-reflective way, I guess. Um, so it says, the world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? The sacred card, uh, pool card asks you to focus on self-love and self-esteem. We are all works in progress, so 
a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for right now. So yeah, it's all about self-reflection. So that's what he's resisting, is looking at himself in the mirror and accepting the things that he doesn't like and loving himself, right? So let's see. Oh, another card just pulled out as well. So the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands flew out. So completely opposite energies. The Eight of Swords is the self-imposed prison of the mind. And here we have an open door, seeing things from a higher perspective, expanding your consciousness. Okay, so he's resisting connecting with all as well as you know going within he there's a sense that he's feeling um locked out he's believing his thoughts all right so what is his higher self saying to him ghost lands okay so ghost lands is about being in the now um not thinking about the past, not being trapped in the past. Um, sorry, I'm just really wanting to read these for some reason. So you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing. So, so for rarely do the present and the future match up exactly with the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. And it goes on, okay. So the, the masculine's higher self is, you know, his true authentic self, um, his pure consciousness talking to him, um, guiding him. So that voice is telling him to, f to be in the now, not to worry about what's happened in the past, um, to just let it go and move forward. The moon <clears throat> and face your fears. So it seems to me like there's something that needs to be done. The masculine needs to, to move through this dark, um, scary place right where all of his fears are reality nightmares night terrors so this card the moon represents darkness and fears um and so his higher self is you know trying to help him move through that dimension and you know the message is to be in the now right don't think too far ahead and don't um worry about what happened in the past okay so the feminine's higher self is encouragement so this is the last card in this uh, tarot deck so this card is from the universe the, the universe is encouraging you to to move forward <laughs> okay so you are receiving this nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there waiting to be explored, and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need, and you won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You're on the right path. Keep going. Wow. Again and again and again, over and over, the message is... You're not alone. You're okay. The universe is there with you, giving you a great big, huge hug. Sorry about that. I seem to be running out of memory a lot faster. My phone is getting old, I guess. Okay. So, we were talking about the universe um, giving the feminine a hug. Seems like she's ready to do something, but, you know, perhaps she needs to end something. I don't know, but she's afraid of, afraid of the illusion, afraid of letting go of the 3D reality, some things in the 3D. So let me just pull one card for that. 
So the Seven of Pentacles is about waiting for the ships to come in. So it's a gestation period or a pregnant pause. It's uh, a time that is forced upon you in order to um, give you time to think, right? You're, you're, you need to wait for something to transpire. So the higher self is telling the feminine to slow down and to, you know, actually sit down and consider the future and the past to see where you've made mistakes so you don't continue to make those mistakes. Or it could mean that the wait is over and, and that you're being encouraged to move forward. So yeah, um, that's from the higher self. Okay, so what is in the present position for the masculine? A change in the wind. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely a change that's taking place um, that for the, both aspects. So what I'm feeling is like, you know, this energy is coursing through both aspects um, and forcing change. Um, there's a lot of fear on the masculine side, but the feminine is, you know, her, her I think the masculine side is more of a mental thing. Um, whereas the feminine side, she's more on the uh, 3D fear. So sorry about the interruption. Again, emphasis on a lot of things happening. Um, okay, so the essential meaning is a sense that unseen forces have been initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift of uncertainty uh, about which direction the winds will blow. Okay, so again, it's kind of the same energy of, you know, looking at the future, looking at the past and not really feeling, you know, secure about something the way that you did. Um, maybe you made plans in the, the past and now you're a little worried that they're not going to turn out the way that you'd hoped they would. Okay, so let's see what the clarifier is. Wow, okay, the Fool card. Um, so this is all ta about taking a leap of faith. It's um, being in the now, being in zero point, not worrying about the future, just having faith and taking that step forward into the unknown. So there's a lot of chaos um, occurring around the masculine change. There's a lot of uncertainty. And the message is to just go for it. Release yourself from that mental prison. Okay, so let's move on to the message from the universe for the masculine is the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is all about um, holding on uh, to something, not sharing, um, um, you know, ghosting somebody. Okay, so it says... Ownership, the beauty of divine order, trusting in a solid foundation. Even if I feel shaken up and unable to under, understand why these things happen the way they do, I know for certain that divine order... My God, I ran out of memory again. This is insane. Oh my God, enough. Oh, let me get through the reading, please. Okay. So the message from the universe, um, I think, is just... Feel stable, feel grounded, feel secure within yourself. Um, yeah, so even if things feel really uncertain and a lot of things are happening, um, don't worry. So it's a repeated mes message kind of like as the uh, feminine side as well. So the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is all about reunions, uh, somebody from the past coming back, you're thinking about the past, you're f remembering somebody fondly. So um, so this is a message coming from the universe. It seems to me like the masculine is possibly wanting to reunite with the feminine um, and he just doesn't feel safe about it, perhaps. Um, He's scared that the plans might not work out or, you know, they won't go as, as expected. But at the same time, it's like, you know, don't set yourself up for failure. 
so quickly. Um, have confidence. If I mean, she loves you. Um, it's going to be perfect, right? If that's something that you wanted to do. Okay, so a message from the universe for the feminine. Seven of fire. So this is strength, courage, again, confidence. It's being the king of the hill. Um, you, you feel accomplished, but at the same time, you're feeling weary as well, that you might not have enough strength in order to keep going. Okay, so independence, uh, non-conformity, living life on your own terms without people uh, pleasing. Now is the time for me to live life on my own terms. So I must find the courage to reject com conformity. Listening to my yearnings for independence is the key to breaking free of group thinking and attending my own needs. Diplomacy with others can help me to be true to my to my call, to do what I know I must do for myself. Okay, so again, repeated theme of independence, right? The nine of, pentacles, or nine of um, pentacles is the independence card. So have the courage um, to move forward in the direction that you want to. And again, not to worry. You are protected. Okay, so one card, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so this is a key being offered to you. It's a gift from the universe. It's an opportunity that is going to um, have financial gains, right, uh, long term. So there's an opportunity there, perhaps a new job. You have to move, um, you know, maybe have a new business idea. But the universe is saying to go ahead and take that offer and to, to not worry. Um, you know, independence is, if independence is what you desire, then go ahead. But there's a, this sense of feeling alone. Okay, so what's in the feminine's present position? I totally forgot to do her. The fates. The fates. Um, so, you know, I think of synchronicities with that card. I'm looking in the wrong book. So chance meetings, um, things turning out the way that you didn't expect, but in a good way. So it says, fate, karma, acceptance, that there are things you cannot change and knowing what things, what those things are. So believe it did it again okay so I deleted a bunch of stuff so hopefully it doesn't shut off again so the fates card um, so fate karma acceptance that there are things that can you cannot change and knowing the things that you can so for the relationship message is basically talking about um, accepting the fact that you can't change somebody and to accept who they are and to to move on um, you can't remain in a relationship and avoid discomfort. Okay, so love unconditionally, accept all things, and let go. So, again, it uh, feels like, you know, the feminine's kind of hitting rock bottom, and she's afraid to let go of something. Okay, so the Nine of Cups. Uh, so this is dreams and wishes granted. This is an emotional card, so feeling supported, feeling um, the love of your your friends and family around you, um, doing the things that you love and enjoy. So I think this is just, again, another card of encouragement from the universe to go ahead and um, take that step that you need, possibly, to get your independence. So, for what the masculine fears is the two of water, the two of cups, is all about union, um, you know, being in love, being with your twin flame, um, so it says, um, harmonious partnerships, loving and lasting relationships, heart connections between two souls. I partner with one who is in harmony with me. Together we explore what is and what might be. 
knowing uh, we are there for each other. Two hearts beat as one as we take turns replenishing and encouraging the other. I have someone who can bring out the best in me and I can do the same for the other soul. Uh, for we are all expressions of divine, divine love. Oh, that's beautiful. But the, he's afraid of that, right? Um, afraid maybe of giving his heart a page of fire. So this is great news, great communication. Um, but it's really starting a new adventure. It's very similar energy to the Fool card, right? There's this, um, you know, very playful, very childlike, um, innocent energy who loves to explore. So it's a new beginning. So a new beginning with the feminine, um, coming together, making commitment, you know, beginning this new adventure. Again, it seems to me like there's plans and maybe... He's afraid that it's not going to work out. I don't know. Okay, so what is the feminine fearing? The eight of fire. So this is accelerated motion. It's uh, It could also have to do with communication. Um, but, you know, it's moving forward. Hold on, let me just find that. Um, so the universe said, you know... You're getting encouragement to go ahead and seek your independence, you know, with the seven of fire. And with the feminine fears is, actually this is a three of fire, sorry. So the three of fire normally um, is it also about expansion, um, but it's feeling um, confident about your skills and seeing the payoff. So expansion of opportunities, the fullness of creativity and achievement. I am on the right path towards my success. I have abundance and opportunity before me. I need to trust myself for I can make a good choice for myself and co-create situations and relationships that are in harmony with my heart's desire. Again, there's something that the feminine desires um, and she's being encouraged to move forward. Eight of Cups, yeah. Leave the past behind, um, go on your soul journey, spiritual journey of self-discovery, and don't hold on to those cups. Sail forward. Okay, so what is the final outcome for the masculine or in the future? Go the distance. So he becomes this cheetah and all-powerful and, and moves forward towards the feminine. Oh, that's so awesome. He conquers his fears. Beautiful. Remember that dark space up there? He blasts out. Like, like he's in a race or something. So endurance and strength, long haul. So he's in it for the long haul, basically. You're either in or are calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. Beautiful. That's all I need to know. And nice, he does so as the divine masculine, as Yang. Uh, the Yang gets his power and strength from authenticity, from being himself. Oh, I love it. And the final outcome for the feminine. Time to go. There, sh there she goes. She, she leaves the situation. She, um, whatever's been holding her back. Um, she takes the advice and moves forward. You know, nice. She needed the encouragement to do it, and that's what she does. So time to go is all about leaving the past behind. Very similar energies all throughout. Crazy synchronicities, I gotta say. Okay, um, so endings, completions, walking away from something because there is nothing to learn or experience. Oh my God, that's perfect. Okay, one card, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is somebody who's been through a lot of battles, the Wounded Warrior, they feel like giving up. So I feel her drawing upon so much strength, and, or she just says, fuck it, you know, enough is enough, and, and off she goes. All right, so let's pull out Miss and Mermaids, and we'll pull the final messages from the universe. So far it hasn't shut off. Good, good. 
think I freed up enough space. That's awesome. Again, I apologize for this. And plus, it's a super long reading, too. Okay, so the feminine first. Nice, sea chariot, awesome. <clears throat> and flying fish, oh my god, beautiful cards. And they reflect exactly what these cards are saying. Okay, so I'll read the feminine first. So sea chariot is, so once I rode a passive babe at the mercy of those around me, a defensive child with demeanor so mild as to encourage complacency. Yet as time passed by, I endeavored to try a temperament more becoming. So I grabbed the reins and I've made great gains as a charioteer commanding. Nice. Okay, so white haired beauty rides upon a chariot pulled by curious fishes. She is optimistic in control and the captain of her destiny. Um, Though young and inexperienced, she is prepared to take command and forge her path. Nice. Um, so the message is assert control. It is time for you to assert control. You have given the reins over to others in too many areas of your life, and it is time to grab them back. Take the stock of all arenas of your life, your professional, personal relationships, monetary considerations, group associations, and home obligations. And that's kind of like what this card up here was saying from the universe, or it was a message from the higher self, but it was encouragement from the universe to sit down and think about all of your options. Okay, and, and take that step towards the, the thing that you really want to do. Um, determine where you are dissatisfied with the, your level of involvement and make a plan to take back control it is perfectly acceptable and desirable to tr um, to uh, trust others to help you and some aspects of your life but it is up to you and you alone to make sure this help does not turn into dependence you are the sole captain of your ship you need to be at the helm when and where it matters the most there you go encouraged once again Number 11. So swallow your fears about falling. Oh my God, again, repeated theme. Um, and focus on all you can be, for soon you will be sailing through the sunlight as fast as you swam in the sea. A butterfly winged angelfish glides effortlessly through the air before a pleasantly pastoral scene. The juxtaposition between sky and sea suggests a feeling of incongruence, yet the fish appears content with its surroundings. So the meaning is, a fish out of water. Lately you have been asking yourself the same question again and again. What am I doing here? You're feeling out of your element and ill at ease. Different faces, different rules, and different expectations. It can certainly be overwhelming, but remember, it is important to leave your comfort zone now and then and grow. You might not fit in at first, but give it time. All you have, all after all, you have adapted to new situations in the past. It might take patience. It might take more effort than you're used to putting forth, but you can definitely do it again. Wow, again, repeated theme of him moving forward, of taking a leap of faith, and um, not being, you know, afraid. And that's what he does as the freaking Yang. Beautiful. I absolutely love this reading. All right, guys. So please uh, let me know if this resonated. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Cheers.